Medical marijuana is still essentially illegal in Texas, but that's not stopping many families here from using it. The Channel 5's Leslie Aguilar is in the studio to explain the situation in our own state. Leslie? Right now, a Texas law allows patients with epilepsy to have access to CBD oil. That law is not yet in effect. Lawmakers are hoping to expand the law. That would allow some families who moved for access to legal marijuana to come home. It would also bring families using it illegally here out of the shadows. This video of a North Texas teenager went viral back in February. Kara Zartler has cerebral palsy and severe autism. This self injurious behavior is one of her symptoms. Her parents found marijuana can stop it. I saw the before and after kind of video that the family had put together and was, was really inspired to try to do something. An intern showed that video to state rep Eddie Lucio III. Lucio filed House Bill 2107 not long after. The bill would legalize medical marijuana in Texas. More than half of the House of Representatives supported it. It's hard to change the minds of lawmakers on several issues, but this is not one. I think if that bill came to the floor and had a straight up or down vote, it would have definitely passed the House without question. The Texas Senate is a little more skeptical. A Senate bill on the issue died before even going to committee. The bipartisan support at the Capitol for the House bill, though, gives Kara Zartler's family hope. What I know is that it works on my daughter. Mark and Christy Zartler treat their teenage daughter with illegal marijuana in North Texas. They posted the video of her treatment online in hopes of helping other patients find relief. So many parents across the world reached out to us and told us, that's what my son does, that's what my daughter does. I'm living in, in a home and I'm afraid of my child. I've been locking myself in my bathroom so he won't beat me up. The feedback wasn't all positive. It took about 14, 15 days before CPS knocked on our door. Mark now has a dot on his record. He's listed as the abuser on a now closed CPS case. The Zartlers do not regret it though. Their daughter's story has changed hearts and minds in the public and the government. I cannot fault these parents for doing whatever they can to help their children. And there's no information I've received, any medical research that shows that what they're doing is damaging to their children's health. Zero. Lucio says he will push legislation every session until it passes. Lucio refiled that bill in the special session going on right now during the seven hour committee hearing on it last session. 59 people spoke in favor and just one person against. We'll let you know what happens next time around. Live in the studio, Leslie Aguilar, Channel 5 News at 1030.